Lake Elsinore. I'll give you a little history right here. This, as you see, the water is going into the lake. I'm one of the flood victims of 1980 here in Lake Elsinore. It's been a while and I forgot this, but I remember I saw a video and a guy brought back some memories. Looks like they got a little drawbridge at one time people could walk across. Right up there is Lakeshore Drive. It used to cut across here. All the way down here, past this park. And all this was area you park, walk down to the lake. Yeah, the water came in, we thought, down by Canyon Lake there by the levee. Yeah, I remember when that levee wasn't there. But this was the outflow channel. And you see how water is coming in? Yeah. That lake was coming up so fast. That tree there was in the water. And all those trees over there. And that little road, that white pickup's coming down. That's Spring Street. Before the floods came and all that. Well, that's what I remember, 75. You can be able to drive all the way across the bottom of that lake bottom. Come out by uh, Grand Avenue or not far from Circle K. Yeah, then we got the real bad rains in 79. All the way into 1980, the lake started rising and flooding. There used to be a bunch of campgrounds on the other side of those trees, and they got flooded out. And I lived over there. Like I heard in the video, the guy was talking about, uh, I think it was another lake, their dam broke or something. And it's, all that water started gushing in through here. I believe that's what caused the lake to flood. Like that bridge there. All the way down the line, the bridges, they had to uh, rip the town in half so they could pump the water back out. And all that water went back out this way into Corona Lake. Yeah, that's how you got your Corona Lake when they had to pump out Lake Elsinore. And this park, you know, where all the kids playing their baseball games and stuff. Across from the old police department. Yeah. And uh, this this went the water ended up in this park. In fact, I think it may have crossed part of Riverside Drive a little bit. Yeah. But after the flood came, they changed all the zoning and stuff. Before that you used to ride a dirt bike. Anywhere around in those mountains, as long as you had that off-road green sticker right along the lake. Yeah, I used to go down there and park your motorhome on the lake. No one bothered you. I don't think they even charged you a fee back then. Then the 1990 came around there, and this used to be a two-way street. Nobody wanted to drive through downtown, go through all that downtown traffic. They'd come down here to this Lakeshore Drive. So, what they do? They stole the road from the people. Yeah, taxpayers paid for this road, so they turned it into a one-way street forcing everybody to drive downtown there's a big old white bird out there a couple of them huh. 
So, then when the water receded, people owned property on this lake. They lost their property. I rented the house off Riverside Drive. Big house. Could have been a four bedroom, but actually it was like a three bedroom with a big old bunk room. Living room, 18 feet by 18 feet. Little dining room, 18 foot. Big kitchen. Not like the little rinky small crap they build these days. You know, I think. I remember when they started building those homes with two living rooms. So small. Like almost you didn't have a place to put an eight foot couch. Yeah. Only room for a love seat. Yeah, there used to be a lot of riffraff, man. There still is a riffraff around. I'm talking real bad drug addicts and little gazebo thing over there, a bunch of low riders that hang out around and stuff and see the low rider gangs chasing people down the street yeah having I can't remember if they had chains or anything like that but yep seen two old boys on the run but that part or that area is off Main Street you couldn't walk down the street at night and you may have got jumped by the gangs if you're by yourself Yeah, they took this Lake Street and part of this Lake Bottom turned into this parking lot. Yeah, that used to be uh, Lake Shore Drive. They stole it from the taxpayers who paid all those DMV fees all these those years to use the road. They turned it into a parking lot. Yeah, there's another person who told a story on another video about how the water came gushing down through here. I remember seeing that now after I seen that video. Yeah. They were saying this was the outflow. No, I remember seeing water coming in. I'm gonna take a walk over here real quick. Let me pause the video.